Hello and welcome to the next feature video for the repopulation covering crafting. I'm Joshua Halls, the lead developer for the repopulation. We're going to look at a uh, deeper dive of crafting this time around. The uh, last uh, video that we've shown was, uh, had quite a bit of information, but uh, we've updated and added quite a bit since then. So we're going to take a closer look at what we can do with crafting right now in our uh, late alpha stage of the build. So we're going to right click on this crafting station to pop up some information uh, about recipes and inventory. We're going to move the inventory over here. We also notice that we can adjust the size of the inventory as well, uh, upper left hand and right hand corners to uh, adjust the uh, amount of the inventory that we can see, so we're going to leave that alone. Over on the left hand side we have a list of all of our recipes. We have um, some stuff from chemistry and culinary arts. These are all skills and then recipes associated with each one of these skills. Going down we see we have firearms crafting. We have uh, quite a few of the different types of fittings. Uh, we're going to cover these quite a bit in detail. Uh, so as we scroll down, we have mining, which uh, covers creating refined ores and alloys. So you take uh, resources you find in the game to uh, create these uh, different alloys and uh, ores, or refined metals, uh, that are going to be used in other recipes later on. And then at the very bottom, we have robotics, which is motherboards and power cores. These will go into the uh, firearms fittings that we're going to look at here right now. I'm going to pop one of these open real quick by double-clicking on it. And notice that we're uh, going to move this over toward the center. And what we have here is the basic crafting window. Uh, if we click on auto, it's going to populate what all it can find in our inventory. You notice that we have our different things. It's going to highlight what's in our inventory that's available for those slots. Uh, right now, we don't have enough uh, resources, such as the uh, refined metals that we're going to need here and the power core and the motherboard. So we're going to close this down. Uh, actually, we'll just leave it up uh, just to show that. Uh, then we'll move down to motherboard, which is the first component that we're going to take a look at. And we're going to double click on that to pop open the uh, motherboard uh, recipe. So now that we're looking at it, we can see that we have quite a few options here as well. So we'll click on auto to populate it. Uh, this will pull the highest uh, grade items it can find. Uh, typically, it'll pull the first item it can find in the inventory out, then it'll sort them by grade. So it's going to find the best grade we have right now, which is C0s. Uh, so going through here, we have just a variety of different things. Uh, start with a single core CPU, which is fine, then a standard linked uh, circuit board. So as you notice, we have different options here. So if you actually want to remove one of these, we can double click on that and go ahead and click on the uh, gold link one. You'll notice that we have changed the uh, end result of the product to a single core, uh, single core gold link motherboard. So we'll go ahead and go ahead, and go ahead with that. So we're going to hit process. And notice that we're going to hit one step and immediately we hit an event. Uh, events are random uh, based on a certain percentage of them happening. Uh, we just happened to hit the uh, first event on step one. So we have a few options with the events. Over on the left-hand side, we have the default option, which requires no item. As you notice, that there's no item like there is over here. Uh, this is by hit do default. So this is the option if you have no item to uh, put in. Over here, we have uh, two options. We have the very first one, which requires a distilled water, which we have in our inventory. If we scroll down, we have a uh, chemical salt option. So notice that we have a success and a failure on both sides here. Uh, so if this is a success for one step, we'll have an increase uh, by 10%. If we have a failure, we have a decrease by 15%. So this is kind of the risk-reward uh, options that you will see uh, if you place the item down. The chance is based on the grade of the item that you're going to be placing in here. So the higher the grade, the better the chance. Uh, so uh, the higher the grade of the item, of course, the better the success is going to happen. Uh, the worse the grade, the more you know opportunities that the failure is going to happen. So we're going to scroll back up, and we'll go ahead and drop down a distilled water for now. So you notice that uh, it succeeded, and we have uh, two steps uh, for adjustment of 5%. So we're going to hit the All button. What this will do, it'll process it all the way to the finish, then it'll kick out the result, which was a D2. Uh, so now that's created, we can uh, go ahead and look at a few other options. Difficulty, there's only one difficulty for this recipe. Uh, we'll see uh, later on with the firearms fittings that we have a variety of different options with those, and we'll cover those when we get to the firearms fitting. Uh, with skill and recipe, this is your progress from the skill and the recipe. The further along the uh, bar is on your skill, the more uh, opportunity, the better chance you're going to have to create a higher grade uh, product. Uh, same thing with recipe. We're kind of low on both of those. Uh, so you notice that when we created this motherboard down here, it's a D2. Uh, so we're using C0 products, and we got a D2 result. That's because of our skill and our recipe it was not quite high enough. Uh, so as we go through and progress and have a higher um, skill and and the skill that we're using, which is going to be robotics in this instance, or a higher recipe uh, mastery, we'll go ahead and continue to grow that, and the products that we'll be able to produce will be of higher grade. So that's all good and well. That's created. Um, 
we have a few options after that, of course, if we want to create some more, we can hit previous and this will auto populate what we just used before. Uh, let's go ahead and get rid of the gold link and put back in the standard link. Uh, so this will do this and hit the all button again. And then we have options here um, for either choosing the same thing that we had before. So we'll scroll down all the way to the bottom and go ahead and drop in some chemical salt. Uh, now that it's done, we'll go ahead and hit uh, all to finish it up all the way to the steps, D3. So we have a slightly better product. We went from a D2 to a D3. So we're done with this. We're going to close this window down since we have a few motherboards now. We're going to look at the power core, which is fairly similar. We don't have a whole lot of differences here to look at. We have uh, power frames, uh, power infusers, um, such and so forth, power couplings. Much of the same here. We don't have enough skill to create uh, anything more than a simple one of these. So we'll go ahead and hit auto. This will populate the same that we had before. Notice that the end result here is listed uh, as a standard power core. So we'll hit the uh, all button again to get up to a two. Uh, again, we hit the event. Uh, we'll choose, just do default this time for two steps. Hit all, uh, then we'll hit finish. Or actually it'll finish for us. So we hit a, a nice level of achievement here. So that is popped up. Uh, we own an achievement uh, that we can see later if we want to take a look at the achievements. So you get to different uh, crafting achievements as you go through the game. Um, some of them have usefulness, you know, they might open some additional missions out there. Some of them are just really just for kind of basic bare, bare level achievements. So now that we're done, we're going to close this window out and we'll go over back up top here and look at the uh, mining aspects of creating the uh, ores and the alloys that we're going to need to create the fittings. Okay, now moving on, we're going to look at ore refining. This is where we get to uh, some more complicated options here. At the very top, you'll notice that we still have difficulty as simple, not much options here. We do have a little more skill and uh, recipe uh, bar values a little further than we were before. I'm going to hit the auto populate button just to uh, go ahead and fill these and you're going to notice a few uh, different things going on here. Uh, first off, we'll go ahead and dump all these uh, just to get rid of these two. Notice when I hover over these, all three of these are refinement agents and you notice that we have quite a few options here. Uh, with ore refining, we're getting the process of, of pulling out attributes uh, to create a uh, refined metal bar. Uh, right here we see that we have the calibrite over on the left hand side and then we have over here on the right hand side the refined calibrite bar. If we right click on that, we'll pull up some information about it. These are the uh, attributes that can be assigned to this refined calibrite bar. These are the maximum attributes you can see here. We have physical resistance, physical penetration, uh, other things like increased aggro targeting. Uh, most of these are combat oriented stats for either weapon or armor and at the very bottom it tells you what kind of type it is. Uh, this is going to be primarily used in a type A uh, firearms or armor fitting. Um, so we'll cover that a little bit more when we get into the fitting side of it. But this is very important to look at as we go through and look at some of this information because we want to pull certain stats out. We don't want to waste agents that we don't, uh, you know, have stats or attributes that we don't need. So the first thing we have here is oil. Uh, you notice we have some abbreviations down the bottom right hand corner. We right click on it, it'll tell us it's mo uh, momentum retention. And we go through this list, you'll see that uh, we have a max of six. We're going to leave that on there for now. Uh, the one that we do want, though, is this calcium carbonate, which has physical penetration, which is used for uh, weapons for pretty much doing more damage. It uh, allows you to uh, reduce their armor mitigation. So we're going to go ahead and add two of those and hit process. And again, we get a, a nice lovely event here. We'll go ahead and choose the salt again. And we got one step, which is good. The bottom right hand corner you'll see that uh, these attributes are showing up that we have so far. These are giving us, as we've seen here with this uh, calibrate bar, the maximums that we have. So for the penetration we have a maximum of 10 and for momentum retention we have a maximum of 6. So far we've spent 2 points and 1 points. So we'll hit process again and you notice that we did the same thing. So we've moved through and pulled out um, 4 out of 10 on the penetration and we've gotten so far two out of the momentum retention. We're going to remove one of these for now and we'll drop in a distilled water into the slot. So we'll hit process. You notice now that we've added an additional um, attribute here which would be the targeting. Uh, so we're at one of four. So if we right click on the distilled water again you'll see that we have a value of targeting for TA1. So we'll then leave that in there and just hit all. This will finish up all the way to the fifth step. You notice that we have those values. Uh, so the end result is right now is we have a refined calibrate bar. So this is what we talk about attributes and pulling out attributes out of the resources. Um, so this is going to be used later on in our type A firearms fitting. And when we go to create that fitting, it's going to allow us to attach the physical penetration values, the targeting values, and the momentum retention into that firearm fitting. So once we attach that fitting into the weapon, 
then that weapon will have those attributes which um, correlate directly, at least with fittings, to stats. Uh, so this will be allow us to really customize the style of stats and weapons we want. Uh, a lot of people are going to be primarily looking at the physical penetration, of course, because that is a base damage value. Uh, but there are other additional stats, and we'll get into those a little bit more as we get into the firearms fitting. So I'm going to close this down, and we'll get rid of this window here as well. And instead of doing um, the first ore, which is Calibrite, we'll go ahead and move on to Iron Ore, uh, just to give you some other examples. So when we drop the Iron Ore in there, we get a different result this time, which is a refined iron bar. So I'm going to drag this up top so we can have some little more information here. So you notice that the attributes are different for a refined iron bar. So we're going to need some accuracy so we can quickly go through these and you know, so we get further down. We're going to do fruit juice, which has accuracy. Uh, then we have these uh, hides here. We have a sitling hide and a lurker hide. Many of the crafting components you use in the game have multiple uses in other recipes as well. Uh, an example here, we're going to use this as a refinement agent, uh, but this, the hides can also be used in uh, leather working and some other um, leather needs and hide needs that might, uh, based on what the recipe needs it for. So we're going to right-click on that, and we have the abbreviation, abbreviation of RA, which is range. So well, that, that's fine. We'll go ahead and drop that uh, settling hide in there as well, and we'll drop another fruit juice in there. Hit process. So same process goes through here. It tells us that we have a restriction of 4 and a restriction of 10. Um, so let process one more time. Uh, yeah, sure, why not? Three steps. We'll get rid of the lurker hide. And we'll go ahead and move over to the uh, ammonium percolate, which is a DMI. Uh, we go up top here and we look that we have a durabil durability minor of 6 on that. So I'm going to drop that in as well. And we'll just hit all. This will process all the way to 5 out of 5. Hit finish. And you'll notice that now in our inventory that we have a refined iron bar. Again, about the same grade, um, since these are fairly similar uh, items, have the very similar grade. So um, most of the time you're going to produce, you know, until your skill and your recipe mastery increases, you get very similar results grade-wise. Um, but as you see with the attributes on these, we have AC10, RA3, and DMI2. Right-click on these, we'll give you the full breakdown of what those actually mean. It'll take a little while, but, you know, after a while, you'll uh, start to memorize what these acronyms mean. You might have to change a few of these as we go through, and based on some feedback, of course. Moving on, we're going to now look at the uh, alloy aggregate. So if we click on that, double click, we'll notice that we have two options here, two minerals. If we hit auto, it's going to auto populate some of this information here. And some of the stuff is works really well, and sometimes it doesn't. So we're going to get rid move this chromite cluster here and go ahead and drop in a galena cluster. And notice that now we have uh, a refined plumite bar. If we right click on that, we'll go ahead and place that back up top. And we'll notice that we have uh, different stats here um, than we had before. We'll go ahead and dump these for now, since we're going to go ahead and use something different. So what we want to do instead is pri uh, place in a few uh, additional options here. We'll go ahead and look at uh, placing this uh, poplar wood here, which gives you uh, ED1. Looking up top of there, we'll notice that uh, this is going to give you endurance, which is the primary stat. As you might notice, that we have values from 10 to 6 to 4. Uh, we label these as primary, label these as secondary, and these are tertiary. Um, so again, you want to use get as much of the primary stats out of here as possible. So we're going to go ahead and jump two of these in there. Uh, then we have the physical penetration values, uh, which we're going to, you know, want to pull a few of those out uh, just for some additional damage attributes. So we're going to drop in a calcium carbonate into that, hit process, and then immediately get another uh, event. I'm going to choose one of these here. And we have a pretty good idea of what's going on here progress-wise. So we hit process a few more times. And we'll go all the way to the top with that and get a, a 510. Hit finish, and boom, another um, item has been created. So we can drag our inventory out just a little bit more to see what we're looking at here. And we have the plumite bar. And again, you can see we have some additional information about it with the attributes that are assigned to it. So now that we have quite a few of these uh, items created that we're going to need to start working on the recipes, let's go ahead and scroll up to the recipes uh, for the firearms fittings, and we'll go ahead and start on one of those. So we're going to double-click on that to open up the uh, very first one, which is a Type A firearms fitting. You might notice that, uh, unlike some of the other recipes, we have some more uh, recipe mastery associated with this one. So we're up to 103 out of 150 in skilled. Notice that we have a pretty much a full blue bar here and nearly a full blue bar in skill. This is the first recipe we have the option of showing you difficulty on. So we have simple and normal. We're going to choose normal. You notice the bars will change. Uh, so once we move up to this, this will create a slightly different fitting. We'll start with the, a simple fitting first, then we'll move up to the normal fitting and kind of discuss how those work. So what we're going to do now is we'll auto-populate, um, just because it'll grab whatever we have here, which is a refined plumite bar, which has the highest rating we have, which is an F8. 
Uh, since this is a Type A firearm fitting, we're going to dump that out for now and instead choose Calibrite, which is going to give us the best Type A fitting we can get. Um, so looking at some of these other options that we have here, we have um, looking here the firearms fitting mold that we already have in place, the standard power core, and a motherboard. Uh, so we should be good to go here. So we'll hit process. And another great increase. We're going to choose to dump this here. Got a nice lovely increase, 10%, which is going to work out pretty well for us. So we'll go ahead and hit uh, finish all the way to all. And we produced a C2. So you might notice this is the first kind of really high-end one that we've created uh, past the D category just because of our skill and our recipe uh, value. So we're we're using even slightly subgrade part, uh, you know, parts in there, and we still produce a C2. You notice that uh, when we right-click on this, we'll have some additional options as well. Looking at the uh, the fitting itself, we have um, some values for accuracy, momentum retention, physical penetration, range. So those were all you know associated with that metal, and that we were pulled and put onto the fitting. So this is going to be the values that are going to be assigned to the weapon when we attach the fitting to it. So we'll go ahead and do that right now. Uh, if we open this up, we can see that uh, this is a basic combat rifle. We have a few options here. We can click on this and you know go to the A slot and just drop it in there. Or uh, what we can do instead is just go ahead and drop it into the weapon. It'll drop it straight in. So now it's assigned. You'll notice that we have points assigned. Um, then also the values associated with that uh, weapon. So we'll close down for that, uh, close down that for now, and we're going to look at creating the uh, next level, which is going to be normal. Okay, moving on, we'll go ahead and look at the uh, normal options here. So you notice that these have been adjusted again. So we're going to hit auto, and we're going to populate this uh, with the plumite bar. We'll just go ahead and dump that again. We're going to use that here momentarily. We'll go ahead and dump the iron bar in uh, just for good use here, and then. We've auto-populated some motherboards and power cores and some more frames and pretty much some kind of standard agents. As you notice, when we go through and we'll burn through the agents, uh, every step that we go through will burn a single agent and the ingredients are burned at the end, uh, just in case that hasn't really been explained. So hit process and uh, hit process a few more times, hit an event, and every single event so far has been a slight grade increase. Uh, we'll go ahead and add that in there and go ahead and hit all to finish it out. And uh, we got a D1, so not as good there, but you'll notice that if we go through and look at that fitting, we have accuracy, accuracy durability, minor, and range. And it has a slightly different uh, setup than the one before. If you look at this one, this one has one point, so it's marked as simple. This one has four points, and it is marked as normal. So you can see that the points are assigned to the weapon. We'll go ahead and drop this into the weapon now. So we have a limit of two A slots into a uh, single weapon or piece of armor. You notice that now the A slots are gone. So this is what we see here now. We'll have some work still to do with uh, how these are listed to kind of get these better situated. Uh, but you can see now that uh, we've increased our accuracy by 4.62% and durability has been increased. Uh, some things as physical penetration range have been increased as well. So these are all assigned to the weapon. So we have an A, let's go ahead and do something slightly different now and drop out of here. All right, looking at a Type B uh, fire and fitting, we have still options here of simple and normal. Notice that uh, we have not much recipe skill at all, uh, so the recipe bar is pretty much empty. Go ahead and choose simple, just because our skill line will be the highest. Hit auto, it's gonna populate the uh, last remaining bar that we have available and whether uh, ingredients we have. We'll hit all again. Aha, finally, we have hit a slight grade decrease. Uh, I swear that was supposed to happen after two or three attempts, but it finally happened at the very end of the video. So that is a lovely blessing. Um, as you can see here, this is not really much of a blessing. Eh? Uh, at the left-hand side, we have uh, decreases of one step, and we can drop to mitigate this on a success, or we can go all the way down and use a flux. Uh, we have two options as fluxes. We have the you know calcium carbonate and the gypsum. Uh, both of these have the same grade, so we'll just go and click on one of these and see what happens. Uh, we've got a grade increase of decrease of negative 10 percent, so we failed that <laughs> failed that one. So we're going to lose a little bit here, which is fine. We'll hit the all button, let this finish out. Uh, then we'll be done, and we'll have uh, what we see at the bottom here, which is the type B, which has an increase of max endurance and physical penetration. We'll go ahead and open up our combat rifle again and go ahead and drop her in there. And you notice that is to stack those in there even further. So these are the available options that we have now with uh, two A's and a single B fitting. 
So we hope you uh, enjoyed checking out this crafting uh, related video. Uh, we have still quite a bit more to go over and cover later on as we get a little further in development. Uh, as you can notice that we still have some uh, inventory work to do there, um, some better stacking, especially with all the uh, different grades and attributes you'll have. That'll quickly become a giant nightmare. We're aware, uh, aware of that issue and we'll be working on that. Um, so we're going to continue to work on uh, getting all this stuff set up and you'll start seeing more of the attributes show up in other sides of the uh, recipes as well. Uh, so these are not completely finished out with these recipes. We'll have some more um, kind of mixtures and changes with the power cores and the motherboards that'll affect how the uh, fittings will work as well. Uh, so you'll see more of that coming in, in as well um, with those. And we'll see more of the attributes and the stats be applied to other um, to the other recipes out there, such as for you know, the culinary arts for creating food, that'll be able to affect some of the attributes, uh, you know, the effects and the stats that might have from the food. So quite a bit of uh, possibilities with the attributes in the stat system. Uh, so we're looking forward to kind of mixing that all together. I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, we'll uh, be getting a new video out to you guys here pretty soon. Uh, thanks again for checking us out. Uh, visit us at our website at uh, www.theorepopulation.com. And if you're happening to check this out before uh, PAX East starts, go ahead and uh, check us out at uh, booth 581 in PAX East. We'll be there Friday and Saturday. Thanks, everybody.